A store clerk and a customer attacked by a man wearing a mask and hit them with what one of them thinks was homemade pepper spray. And so far, police don't know a motive in all of this. Gaston County Bureau reporter Ken Lemon is live tonight with what the clerk says happened. Ken? Yeah, Vidal Mendez says that this store, uh, Gray Express, has security cameras that may have captured an image of the truck that that individual got in. He said that man was wearing a bandana over his face, gloves on his hands, a baseball hat, and a hoodie. He says as soon as he saw him, he feared the worst. Pure moment of terror. Vidal Mendez's swollen eyes have healed, but the memory of the attack has not faded. Horrifying, horrifying. He was preparing to close the store Sunday morning at about 1.30. There was one customer checking out another playing a video game when a masked man walked in and looked right at the 22-year-old clerk. What are, you, what are you thinking? When he raised that hand, I thought he was going to raise some big gun. Instead, the man had a bottle like this one. His own, like, MacGyver type of like pepper spray bottle. It was pretty big. The customer playing the video game managed to run outside. The masked man and sprayed Mendez and the customer who was in line. My eyes felt like they were on fire. Yeah. It was so difficult to breathe in there too. Mendez said the attack lasted about 30 seconds. He couldn't see much during it, but he was able to tell the attacker walked outside. I immediately uh, locked the doors from inside. He saw the attacker get into a getaway truck with the driver. The whole thing has Mendez confused and wondering. Why, why did he do that? Mendez said it appeared to be a coordinated attack. A neighbor reported seeing the masked man walk by his house just before the attack here at the store. Police are now looking for both the truck and the attacker, Erica.